Hello and welcome to Sci-Fi Magi. Today we're going to talk about levitation, the idea of suspending an object in mid-air without any material structures holding it, so it would remain aloft, floating, what? another word for levitation. Now, we're not talking about psychokinesis, which would be manipulating and or moving objects, move, 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 moving objects with the power of the mind. That is something different, but somewhat similar, but today we are going to talk specifically on levitation. So if we were to rub and levitate, <gasps> that object, you might think, well, what if he's just sticking it? Because it is yeah. a straw, he could be sticking it. Well, if you use a heavy object, like a knife, that could be almost impossible. And oh, it's not a ring. It's not a magnetic ring on the knife. That'd be too easy and straightforward. It's just a little bit of science and a little bit of magic. Wings of Icarus, The Short Flight. Starring Levy Rising. Sponsored by Mr. Golden Sun Candies. Here's a nice little DIY you can do at home to make your own levitating craft. So what you'll need is just a pen, some scissors, a push pin, bottle cap, balloon, and a paper plate to make your own little flying craft, as I said. So let's get into how to make it right now. So what you want to do first is using your push pin, Find the center of the cap and poke a small hole, being careful not to poke your fingers. Now, widen the hole simply by rotating the push pin, just like that. And that's all you'll need the push pin for. So set it off to the side. Now, you're gonna use your pen here, and you're actually going to make this push pin hole bigger. So you wanna make sure you have a hard pointed pen. You don't wanna use a gel pen or some sort of felt tipped pen. You want to use a hard ballpoint pen. So stick the ballpoint pen in and just widen that hole. And that's all you need to do is just expand it just a little bit, not a whole lot. You don't have to put the pen all the way through, just a little bit of an expansion. Now, in the center of the plate, poke a hole. Simple as that. And now you are done with both your pencil and your thumbtack. Now, what you're gonna do is cut around the edge of your plate. So now that you have your small disc cut out, this will actually allow you to levitate a little bit better than having the whole rim of your plate. So now all you do is hot glue the cap, slightly lining up the holes, to the piece of cardstock. So now that you have your levitating disc, the way it's going to work is simply like this. You're gonna blow up your balloon and then put the mouth of the balloon around the cap. And then the air is gonna force its way through the holes, creating a lot of pressure and force, which will lift it off the ground, similar to a hovercraft. So let's do that right now. A quick note, it helps if you twist this a couple times to kink the balloon while you're putting it on your disc. Now that this is attached, let's go ahead and give our disc a little bit of a flint. Now using your fingertips, you can slightly bop it back and forth. It'll actually create kind of like a steering mechanism. It's not magic, it's science. And it's not that amazing, but it's still fun to give it a try. Oh, now we're gonna look at that illusion with the knife and show you how to levitate or suspend a knife in the middle of your hand in mid-air. Now, there's a bit of trickery that went on. That's the idea of magic and science and illusion, but you're gonna need another knife. Oh, that's right, a knife and a knife. So what you're gonna need also is a watch, hairband, rubber band, bracelet, something to hold tension in one knife. So that gets loaded in your watch, <gasps> thusly amazing, butter knife and all. And now you see, if you actually push your hand against it, it creates tension against the palm of your hand. And now I'll show you with the straw first. If you were to put that just like that from the front, it looks now as if it's floating, but of course, there's a little knife nubbin holding it. So the knife from the watch is holding tension into the straw. So 
That is how the straw works. Now doing the knife is a bit harder, obviously, because it is heavier. So you wanna make sure when that is suspended, you could even do a little fake take. This is how they used to do it in the classic days. They go, oh look, I'm just holding it with my finger. And then you come back and it's suspended, suspended, suspended. So a little bit of fun for you that you can try at home with a little knife, a little watch, and a bit of time on your hand. Well, that wraps up this episode of Sci-Fi Magi on Levitation. If you guys enjoyed it, please hit that subscribe button on YouTube, hit that like button on Facebook and Instagram, and go ahead and check out all our exclusive content here on TMR. And we'll see you next time on Sci-Fi Magi.